Hello everybody, this is Frogman and welcome back to Ultimate Alchemy. We're going to work on episode 9 today. Last episode we got started into the process of being able to make a terrestrial agglomeration plate, which meant we had to make nether wart and mushrooms in this kind of a system where we have to make a moistener and a fermenter and a squeezer to make a bunch of stuff in here to make various things and more parts. So now that we have these these things, we don't have to use this system anymore, especially because, you know, I can grow another wart like so. And mushrooms will slowly over a period of time spread across to other myceliums. So I will have that. Plus, I can just bone mill that dude and do whatever I need to do with it. Okay, so as we saw, we're still trying to work on the Rune of Earth, and the Rune of Earth does, I, I kind of remember this being able to take a block of charcoal, but I guess not. So we have to look at coal, and coal, in order to get coal, we have to look at a coke oven, at least for the current time being, because in order to get coal, we have to run charcoal, pulverized, pulverized charcoal, through a coke oven. So, immersive engineering it is, coke oven. Coke bricks, Coke bricks, Coke bricks, Coke bricks, Coke bricks, 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 uh, smooth sandstone, sandstone, stuff like that. So gravel is just this thing. So let's grab a handful of gravel and we'll just see what happens. So we'll put you guys in there, split on automatically. Uh, that's going to make a bunch of this. So let's see. We also are going to need the hammer. So an engineer's hammer. Shouldn't take anything terribly hard to craft, so let's go ahead and make an engineer's hammer. Hammer time, haha. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, hammer, 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 whatever. We're gonna have to get that guy going, so let's give him a hand to finish up his process. Run you completely out of power, but at least now we're done. So, all right, give me those and those, and hopefully we can make enough of this. If not, I'm going to have to speed up a little bit of this process. So, let's just grab one of those. And uncompress it, uncompress it, uncompress it, thank you. And I will make a whole bunch of sandstone. That should probably be very much sufficient. So you can do this, 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 and this. And you should put those back together, good deal. And some gravel. I'll just grab a stack of gravel. What did the sandstone, did it not craft that? My goodness. There. Thank you. Coke brick. And craft. We need 27 of that for right now. And then we will probably end up having to make some more of that later on. But whatever. I'll put those away. Alright. This guy, I think we're going to just put him kind of out of the way for right now. Maybe I'll put him over here on this side of the island so that I don't have to look at it somewhere. How about we put him right? We'll put it right here, so that's a good spot. And cook oven and the hammer and done. All right, cool. So, let's go grab some of that charcoal, run it through a pulverizer. We'll start with that much. And I want to look at the, before we even bother speeding that thing, or looking at it, I want to look at speeding that thing up. And because of the way immersive engineering multi-blocks like those are, the center block is the one that you need to be able to speed up. So, the only thing that we have in this pack that can do certain things like that is going to be a porcupine. Porcupine, what is it? Ender porcupine, ender something. Ender porcupine, where is he? I can't remember how to spell ender porcupine. Porcupine, where are you? Am I blind? There he is. Ender porcupine. Ender pearls, power manager, things like that. This block basically allows me to be able to reach a block inside something else to be able to access it. It's kind of like the actual editions. Um, Phantom faces, things like that. So I would like to craft one of those because I want to speed this thing up. I don't want to sit there and wait on the slowness that is that machine or that thing, that multi-block. So one ender porcupine. Now, I'm ender porcupine, if we take, and we're going to just go ahead and borrow this mechanical user here with his acceleration wand and some of the 
charcoal that we should have done now. Excellent. Eh, go around the corner. I'm going to stick this stuff in here, and we're going to watch it. See, it's, it's a very, very, or it should be a reasonably slow process. It still takes quite a bit of time to make what we need, and we need a lot of this coal. So that's going to be the first one. I'm going to take this ender porcupine, we're going to set him on top, and I'm going to tell it I want it to go block range from where it is, block range start, minus one, minus one, so that it's going to go right straight down from where it is right now. So that's all I want it to do. I want it to look right straight down from where it is right now. So then I can take the mechanical user, put him down, use item on block, random slot, put one of those in here. And he should be, should be reasonably quicker. Maybe. Maybe I'm losing my mind. I think we have that right. From where it is down, no, we need to go minus two. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Minus two. That's better. And now that guy will make us a whole lot of coal. This is going to be easily automated later on, but I want to at least get enough coal to make the block that we need in order to be able to make this thing. So there is a coal block. Very nice. We'll put you away. Coal block. So that plus a block of stone. One stone block, please. So the only thing left that we have to do now as far as the runes should be the rune of air, which is a feather, string, and some white carpet. So where is my string? String, string. We need one of those. I already have some feathers crafted because I needed them for angel blocks. But as you can see here, you can craft feathers using a straw feather. And a straw feather is just some weight. And then you can take that and craft the straw feather into a regular feather just with shapeless crafting. So we're good on that part. All right, all I need now is some wool, which I already have some wool. I don't need to make anymore. And we need some carpets. So three carpets, thank you very much. The runes, all of the stuffs that we need. So we need some iron now. One stack will be sufficient, thank you very much. And some type of dust. So we'll just bring some of that along. Now, I just wish I had the ability to pick this thing up, and I'm pretty sure there probably is a way, and I don't really worry about it care right now. Thank you. We need some gold. One gold, please. And over to this area. We're going to go ahead and toss about, I don't know, that much in there. Oh, right. I need to do that in this one. Whoops. Well, that's okay. And we need to do about that much of that. Cool. And we'll just do the whole thing. It's like I'm out of charcoal. Awesome. All right. So we need to be able to craft a... Do we have any over here? We do. I did bring some over here. Very nice. I need to make another... Where's my bag? Inventory full of stuff. I need my little crafting table on a stick. I need to be able to make another one of these... Because I am going to use it to, I need a feather, shoot, uh, not a feather, a petal, 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 petal. We need to make another mana spreader because I'm going to run it off of that one, this, this area right here. And then we're going to have to craft the, where did it, did it, did we need to craft the runic altar, which I didn't bring any ender pearls down. So let's go grab an ender pearl real quick so that we can make some runes. So let's grab an ender pearl. I'm just going to grab a few of them because I think I need one anyway for the rune of mana. So you can do that. And where is my crafting table? We need some more of this stuff. Holy cow, my inventory. Do that for right now. Actually, why don't you just give me that chest and we'll put this stuff in it. There we go. So that, 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 all of this, all of that. And that should be good enough for the runes that we need as far as those go. So we're going to need a few of these, which we already did, but I'm going to go ahead and just make a bunch more of them. And then let's get the runic altar made. And runic altar should be nothing more than this. 
Sweet. Alrighty then. So runic altar. We can now make a bunch of these runes. So that's good to go. Let's start with the this one, this one, and this one. So a rune of air. I think as everybody's watched these. So that, 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 and come on, get on there. This, 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 that. Did he change the recipe? Oh, I don't need that. What am I doing with a pearl on there? Give me the pearl back. Thank you. This and the mana steel. There we go. Put you away for right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get through on these as far as the rest of these go. And that doesn't go that way. It needs to go this way. And we will see just how much fun this is going to be as far as all of the fun stuff. So I will be right back. Okay, we're just getting the last one done here, so I just need one of these mana pearls. It's such a, it's still a really just, even even to this day, as long as, as old as this mod has been, it's still just so much fun to watch this stuff work. It's just, just neat. So, I do kind of like crafting in-world, and this is kind of what this does. So, we're going to get that guy going. And, done. Sweet. All right, so that should get us all of the parts that we need to be able to make the plate. I went ahead and got me some lapis blocks, which is awesome. So, all right, we need to work on the actual agglomeration plate now. So, A, D, G, A, D, D, there we go, cool. And we need to be using this thing. I need to make a block of mana steel ingots, there we go. And, of course, the lapis, all of the runes that we just crafted into a agglomeration plate. All right, so I think I'm going to say that this thing is going to live. I want it kind of, I think the, the next set of the, uh, the next set of where I'm planning on making um, more power gen is going to be over here for this or more mana generation is going to be over here. So how about we make it right there? That looks good enough to me. So where is my shovel? And we have to build a small structure to go underneath this thing. Can I have that dirt, please? It's still kind of expensive to make. And we're going to do the process. So lapis blocks in the corner. No, it's actually, I always do this backwards. Give me my magnet, please. Please, thank you. I always do these backwards. Lapis blocks are in the sides like so. And I need you, Dirt. You're not allowed to go away. Thank you. Living rock in the corners. And the plate. Awesome. So now we have the next step closer to. In order to feed that guy, we're going to need some uh, more parts for this stuff. So we're going to have to look at what the heck are they called at Botania. Because I can't remember for the life of me what they are. Sparks. Sparks. Again, blaze powder, stuff like this. Glad we made all that blaze powder. So let's grab... How many of these pools do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, five pools. So let's see if we can make six sparks. So what do we have in far as here? Let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll go down here and make some sparks. One of the first things I'm going to be making here fairly soon, actually, is a distinct and sat... This, uh, traveler's sash or whatever the, the sash because just it just it'll allow me to move around a little bit faster so let's go ahead and de-sparks we need some gold nuggets so the blaze powder is in their good deal so let's make six of those if we can we can't make six because we don't have enough stuff give me the blaze powder give me those gold nuggets they're there good deal and i need what is that do that again. Thank you. All right. So these sparks are going to allow us to access this. And like I said, I'm, I'm, say, I'm saying this as if, you know, most people don't know how to play Batania, but this is a another way to move mana around. And it's the only easy way to get a lot of mana into this thing when you need this, because Terra Steel takes a lot of mana to produce. So it's not going to be one of those things that tells you here in this system 
but one of the big problems now is is diamonds we don't have diamonds the diamonds are made in a specifically silly fashion as far as things go and in order to get diamonds we have to use a different type of a process so I should theoretically be able to use the sunstone with this system so let's try to make a sun stone or two I need one piece of the I, I need one piece of that stuff so a sunstone recipe here if you read it it says craft an empty sun crystal in here then throw the crystal into the sunlight so we'll craft an empty crystal for most of the recipes in this pack that require diamonds early game or any diamond for that matter this is how you may you can use these as a replacement for a diamond so this is one of those i can't remember if this works we're going to try it and see so as soon as he becomes happily all glowy uh i think he's getting pretty close it's now full which the problem with this is they require to be made in the middle of the day or at least while the sun is out so you have to kind of do things this should make me a mana diamond okay cool so we need a mana diamond a mana pearl and a mana steel to make the first piece of terra steel that we need to get the elven gateway portal opened so drop 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 nice 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 all right cool oh so much for the fun part now we need to look at some more of these fun things so mana pylons 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 i'm doing all of this by memory so it's kind of fun so the natura pylons blah, 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 require a mana pylon which again we need two more of those diamonds so let's go ahead and craft two more of those things real fast looks i think it's two is it just two two okay that's not too terribly hard to do so one and two they don't stack that's correct this is the thing i remember remember in the last time i played through this that i actually got this automated to where it worked and i kept a certain amount of these on hand all the time and you can't speed them up they just kind of sit there and slowly fill up they don't take very long so go ahead they're done they're almost done that one's almost done now you're done probably okay cool all right so let's go ahead and get those two things crafted do i have enough gold on me probably maybe let's uh, exchange those thank you two mana diamonds thank you very much have a little bit of gold and that's just some mana steel and some stuff we need two of these where is my crafting table thingy there we go so two of those excellent Natura pylons. This is where we start to use that this terra steel. So I think, as far as I remember, he didn't change the recipe for this. No, he didn't. Awesome. So I just need a little bit more blaze powder. Actually, I probably already screwed up and used all those ender pearls that I needed, but that's okay. We've got plenty of ender pearls. Let's grab some more ender pearls. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. So pylon. Natura pylon requires two eyes of ender. One, two, and go. One, two. So that part is done. So then the gateway is this. Sweet. Alrighty then. Cool. And the. See, we need glimmering living wood. Glimmering. Glimmering living wood is this. We need three pieces of that. So that's just a little bit of glowstone. And it should be good to go to build the rest of it. We just need a little bit more wood, I think. Do we have any more wood? No. Sweet. Well, this is the cheaty cheese way of doing things then. I don't know. I think I forget if I showed this in the last episode or not. But I made a building gadget for this specific purpose here. Because this is a quick, easy way to get a lot of this stuff done fast. So you just use the building gadget to place the stuff down. Use an acceleration wand to speed up the process. And when you're done, you just hit the undo button. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again just so that we have a little bit more of it. But gateway, 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 gateway. Gateway needs to be in an area where we're going to be able to craft things with it. So this may all change. Actually, let's just put him over here for right now. So gateway is going to be the gateway at the bottom some living wood on the sides and i usually just finish the structure out with some living wood on the edges and then up one the living glimming glimmering living wood another set of those over one 
and that. You don't need these corner blocks, but you know I'm just doing it because it looks a little bit better. We need a couple of mana pools for this now, so let's go ahead and get a couple of mana pools going. Couple, thank you. And these guys need to be filled with various stuffs. So I should have a mana tablet over here. I do, thank you very much. And we will toss mana tablet in this one with your set to fill. And you can just accelerate that up very quickly. Thank you very much. And then you can fill and again accelerate that up fairly quickly. Thank you very much. And do that again. All right. Fill these pools up. Very nice. And the two Natura pylons. Whoop. No. There. I think I got that placed right. We'll see. Put him down. And then we just hit it with the wand. Awesome. Now that's going to use a bit of mana out of these. And we're going to have to do a little bit of playing with this. But see, the first thing that I want to build with this is the spark augmentation for these two guys over here so we're going to change <clears throat> excuse me we need to get a bit of pixie dust and a rune of fire which i'm going to have to make a few more runes of fire but what i usually do with these is i will set up dominant spark augment or dominant sparks on these two things that will then pull from this entire system so we'll do two, two dominants over there and a dominant right here and then they'll just pull from these guys no matter what. That also means that we can now get rid of this and make a whole bunch more stuff in here. So, I think, with that being said, the thing that I really wanted out of this mess at this point in time was to see if we just can't craft one more thing, which is a sash, which shouldn't be much more than a rune of air and a rune of earth and some more leather. <laughs> I will be doing that later then. I'm not going to do it right now. So let's go ahead and break this chest, put this stuff away in here so that I have these guys later. This doesn't need to go in here. The glowstone can, glowstone can stay. That wood can get put back in this bin, whatever you want to call that thing. Put those away. And that can go in there. And I think while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and make one of these real fast. Just because I want a tablet, we're going to need it. So should just be this. Sweet. And go ahead and fill that thing up with, I guess, this one right here. Drop that in. And do we have it set correctly? Yes, we do. And go ahead and fill that up. Thank you. Awesome. Neat. Alrighty then, so I think with that being said, that's a pretty good spot to stop. I am going to go ahead and craft a few things in between episodes, get some more of these, get the spark augments up, get this going the way that I want to do that, because that means now I can craft what I want to use as far as power, or power gen, mana generation for this system. I'm not going to spoil it, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's going to require a lot of the Batania system over here to actually make the power for it, so it's something that we're going to need. So, Alrighty guys, I think that's a good spot enough for right now. I will call it here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.